Hi students, welcome to Engineering Graphics. This is uh, question number 12 in perspective projection. It's a very frequent question in almost all universities. It's a circular lamina, a circular lamina 50 mm diameter. A circular lamina 50 mm diameter lying on the ground, touching picture plane. The station point is 60 mm in front of PP. The center plane is 40 mm to the right of the center of the lamina. And the station point is 55 mm above the ground. What we do is draw PP first. Draw the circle touching picture plane. What diameter? 50 diameter. Take minimum 8 points on the circumference of the circle. Divide into 8 equal parts of 45 degrees each or say 12 equal parts of 30 degrees each. I prefer 8 parts because drawing here without instruments is risky if you take 12 points. Okay. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H are the 8 points on the circumference of the circle. I draw the central plane 40 mm away and 60 mm in front I locate SP. What is SP? SP is a station point. The question says SP is 60 mm in front of PP and the CP passes through. 40 mm away, 40 mm to the right of the center of the lamina. Any distance below SP, draw HL. What is HL? HL is the horizon line. Then observe a site 45 mm below HL, draw GL. GL is the ground line. Agreed? Now, drop SP down to HL to get SP dash. What is SP dash? SP dash is the elevation of station point. Then, draw the elevation of the lamina here. It's a line. Elevation of the lamina is a line. This is plan of the lamina. This is elevation of the lamina. A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash, E dash, F dash, G dash, H dash. Join all points of the elevation of the lamina to SP dash. Very light lines. Join all points of the elevation of the lamina to SP dash. Very light lines. Then what? Join all points of the plan of the lamina to SP. Without instruments, it is very difficult to draw, you know. Now let's mark the intercepts. These are few intercepts. Let us find out. A is on the picture plane itself. Therefore, this is a no doubt. Drop the intercept of B. This is intercept of B. This is capital B. This is intercept of C. This is capital C. This is intercept of D. This is capital D. This is intercept of E. This is capital E. Intercept of F. Capital F. G. H A B C D E F G H Connect all these points by a smooth curve You get an ellipse. You get an ellipse. This is the perspective view of the circular lamina lying on the ground. Agreed? Now, listen carefully. Suppose this is a cylinder. Suppose this is a cylinder. 
what happens to the plan? Plan is almost same with additional set of eight points on the circumference. A B C D E F G H A B C D E F G H I J K L M N Q R. Those are the additional points. So what happens to elevation? Elevation instead of this horizontal line or in addition to this horizontal line, there will be one more horizontal line representing the top. Agree? There are three options here or there are three possibilities. One is the cylinder height is less than the observer height. Observer height is 55. The cylinder height can be less than observer height. What happens in that condition? You have got a straight line here parallel to a dash, b dash up to h dash. You will have a similar line here below hl. You have got eight points marked there. You will join all those eight points to sp dash, and by dropping down these lines to get points on the bottom, you will get another set of eight points on the top. So that you will have two ellipses, one ellipse here and another ellipse, a narrower ellipse here, and two tangents on either sides. It comes like this. This is the bottom ellipse which you have already drawn. You will get a small thinner. Or narrower top ellipse, and then you will have tangents, and this part of the ellipse will become dotted. When will it happen? This will happen when the observer's height is more than the cylinder height, or rather, the cylinder height is less than 55. Agree? Same procedure, absolutely no difference. Only thing is, you will have another straight line here to represent the elevation of the top circular face, and another set of lines connecting to a speed up and another set of 8 points there. The procedure is identical, no difference. Okay. Now, the second possibility is observer height is equal to cylinder height. What is observer height? 55. What is cylinder height? 55. What happens? You will have an ellipse at the bottom just like what you have got and then a straight line on the top. What is the straight line? The straight line is the top circular face. Since the observer is as tall as the object, the top of the cylinder will be seen as a line. Agreed? Okay, that's the second possibility. What is the third possibility? Third possibility is the cylinder is taller than the observer. The cylinder is taller than the observer. Still same procedure. The problem is, similar to this horizontal line representing the elevation of the bottom, you will have a straight line here representing the elevation of the top and this line happens to be above HL. This line happens to be above HL and when you go into a speed dash and uh, drop the intercepts, what happens? You will get a bottom ellipse identical to what you have got here and here you will get a top ellipse. You will have another ellipse on the top and you will have tangents but this part of the ellipse will be dotted and this part of the ellipse is dotted. What is happening? The observer cannot see the top circular face. Because the observer is shorter and the cylinder is taller. Agreed? So that part of the ellipse will become dotted on the top side. Here see, both are firm. Both are firm. And when the observer is shorter and cylinder is taller, this part will become dotted. See. These are the three possibilities that can come when you consider a cylinder. I have been just explaining in addition to the circular lamina what happens when the cylinder comes. Agreed? I hope you understood. Thank you.